Hello, my name is Juliet Uzo and I'm really pleased to be here with you for um, the All Dressed Up and Nowhere To Go event. Um, yeah, thank you for inviting me along. Uh, well, I, to be honest, I started sewing. Um, I decided to learn how to sew in 2013. Just as an outlet, I am a primary school teacher and um, you know, after a stressful day at work, I just didn't really have any hobbies to do at home, you know, on a rainy day or on a day that I don't feel like going out for any exercise. I just needed some kind of hobby to do at home and I didn't want to get into cooking. So um, it was either going to be sewing or cooking and I just did not want to do any baking or cooking <laughs> because obviously, you know, yeah we all look after our waistlines and we just don't want the extra pounds so that was the reason that was my only reason for not going for baking as a hobby so i chose cooking i enjoy sewing i've enjoyed it ever since i bought my first machine in 2013 i didn't have a clue what i was doing i just went into hobbycraft and asked the lady for the most reasonably priced one and the easiest to learn with and i was pointed in the direction of a very easy a brother sewing machine and that's how it all started a few youtube videos a few books here and there and um i started creating clothes <laughs> so the best thing about winning the sewing, uh, sewing bee the great british sewing bee last year was that um you know i got to prove to myself that i can do whatever i put my heart to um i just you know, I never thought that I would go anywhere far. I didn't think I was going to go far in the competition. And um, week by week, I just kept surprising myself. And I was really, really pleased. So the best thing about winning it is that I taught myself to persevere and um, believe in myself a bit. And I think that's the best thing about winning it for myself. So it's um, it had to, it was a personal thing. I think, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, it was just a person just to prove to myself that I I can do whatever I put my heart to. And since winning the Great British Sewing Bee, I've had a platform to you know bring sewing to people who um, people who've thought about it but just haven't had the you know haven't had the inclination to go ahead to learn to sew. So I'm really pleased that I've had that opportunity to inspire lots of people to either dust off their sewing machines and bring back sewing again, or learn sewing as a new skill. And I'm really pleased about that. I've had the opportunity to go ahead to do a course at the um, London Fashion College, London College of Fashion, sorry, at the London College of Fashion. I went to learn how to do digital pattern making and um, that that was excellent. That was an excellent opportunity. I wouldn't have had the opportunity if not for the Great British Sewing Bee, I don't think. And so yes, um, it's the, so I've had that opportunity to inspire a lot of people and it's also brought more opportunities to me. I've had the opportunity also to teach people how to sew in person and online and um i think i think i think we've got a long way to go but we are still working hard to keep spreading the love of sewing and i believe that anyone can sew <laughs> doesn't matter you know where you come from what you do um how old you are or who whether you're a man woman young person teenage anyone can sew and i really do i really do want to spread that love of sewing because it's it, number one it's you know it's mental it helps people mentally i mean for myself i've really benefited from sewing during especially during the lockdown um i don't know what i would have done if not for sewing and i mean it because after a day of homeschooling and you know taking care of the family Oh, it really does help. It really did help me to come into my sewing space and just create for myself. And um, I, what I must say, um, I got burnt out at some point after doing some community um, face covering, making scrubs, and all of that. But it was okay that I, you know, I got the opportunity to step back and um, come back to it again. So yes, sewing is really has really helped me during the lockdown. So um, the last garment that I made is this here. It's an indigo smock dress by Tilly and the Bottoms. 
and I made it using this gorgeous, gorgeous, um, it's an abstract animal print fabric and it's in viscous and I got it online. I bought it from an online shop, So Me Sunshine. And I know a lot of people do not really, a lot of people prefer to buy fabric in person, but uh, my experience buying this fabric from So Me Sunshine was excellent. So, and I made this pattern. It's an indigo sewing pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. And I, I didn't go for the smock top version. I went for a midi dress. So I do want to make another one. I want to make this same pattern, but I want to turn it into a maxi dress. So it would have three tiers. So it would have this as the first one and I'm going to insert two more. This here actually is a midi dress and it has two tiers. So there's a tier here and then there's another one down there. And it's a midi dress and it has pockets. So yes, um, thank you very much for attending the event. And um, I really do hope that you can take some time to um, donate to the charities that are um, involved in this event. And I, I'm re it's really lovely that the council can continue to support um, these sorts of um, events. And um, thanks again for your time. And thanks for inviting me along to All Dressed Up and Nowhere To Go. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and keep sewing, <laughs> all the best. Bye! I managed to cut this dress out at the last session of dressmaking we had. Um, used Buttrick pattern 3195, which you can no longer buy from the shops. Um, it doesn't have full lining, but I wanted a lining in, so I had a practice um, to fit under their cowl neckline. Um, I also practiced different seam edgings and ended up with uh, a French seam. Um, I also altered um, the back where under the invisible zip I included a button and buttonhole so that when the zip is fastened it doesn't rub against your body.
Thank you.